Hey guys, it's Oksana reporting for you here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I wanted to do your May 2020 in review. You'll see that April was drastically different in 2020 than it was in 2019. And of course, we all know that that's because of COVID, staying in place and staying home. Experts saying that Canadian housing prices will decline between eight and 19%. And I just wanted to say, you know what? If you're living in Winnipeg and in Manitoba, don't freak out yet. <laughs> I don't think there's a need. I have been looking at statistics from both Hamilton and Ottawa this week. Um, I have family and friends in those areas, so I've been having a look over there and the situation in Ontario and I'm sure in BC is very different than what is happening in Manitoba. So pricing of houses, the average price of homes in May was actually quite similar to March. So it happened we had our price in March that was around that 327 mark. It did go up in um, April to 331. And then in May, it actually came back down to that 327 mark in there. The other thing that happened that was quite seemingly drastic in April was that the number of homes sold year over year, so what sold in 2020 compared to 2019 was drastically different. And you know what? The same happened in May. So in May, in 2020, over 2019, we did have 227 less home sales, but there were also 777 less homes active on the market this year. So it is a seller's market. So that means there just isn't enough inventory on the market. People aren't feeling really comfortable putting their home on the market yet, but there's still a lot of buyers out there. So we're seeing a ton of multiple offer situations and homes going for asking and over asking. Another interesting thing that happened just yesterday actually, on June 4th, is CMHC has changed their lending rules. So the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation has to insure your mortgage. So if you're putting down less than 20% of a down payment, they have to insure that mortgage. So what that means, most people don't put down 20%. Right? What is happening now is that there are three things that have changed how you can get some of your down payment money, what your credit score has to be, and also what your total debt servicing ratio can be. So we add up these three changes, and this can mean that you'll qualify for a mortgage that is tens of thousands of dollars less than you would qualify for right now. So this change is happening on July 1st actually. So I don't want to go too far into it because it's so important that you get the right information from the right professional. So I work with mortgage brokers, mortgage specialists, but I am not that myself. So I won't offer my advice. So things are changing. CMHC knows that more Canadians are in greater debt and they basically just want to make sure that we're not going to get in over our heads at this time of COVID, social distancing and staying at home. Until next month. I hope you stay safe, stay home, and take care of yourself and your family.